we're going to magnify it and looking at it on a one minute chart. So we're in that same area here. So the market drops down. We create a fair value gap in the form of a SIBI, sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency. That's this move here. We create, we create relative equal highs and relative equal lows. It trades down. Remember that shaded area here? This is the low of the old opening range gap, Tuesday to Wednesday, and Tuesday to Wednesday's opening range gap high. We're trading at the low of that old Tuesday, Wednesday opening range gap. Hitting it here, hitting it here. Look at the bodies respecting it. We just go outside of here, and then we run these relative equal lows there. The wicks are doing all the damage. Then we quickly run back up, take out a short-term high. Oh, now we have something right. This is the 2022 model that I taught on the YouTube channel. Take stops, shift in market structure, fair value gap, buy it. That's your silver bullet. Ooh, so I can blend the 2022 model and the idea of the ICT silver bullet, blend it together, and it, yeah, this is this is what you do. It isn't always going to be a continuation. You're going to treat it sometimes with a reversal, and this is what you're looking for here. You can buy it here. These arrows are just for illustrative purposes. These are not executions for disclosure's sake. I'm just showing you where your entry would be. And this is how you want to do your own journaling. You want to, like in areas over here, or over here or up in here you want to annotate and reward yourself with positive self-talk saying it was amazing to see this pan out the way i was expecting it to and you see this and then when you look at it week end later or the week later or a month ago you go back and look at your old stuff and you'll read that and your subconscious remembers that as pseudo experience and the way you condition yourself with positive self-talk never putting anything negative in your journal entries you're conditioning yourself to see the positive aspects of these types of things in price action. And you trick your brain into seeing it like you actually did it. And by doing that, it helps fuel your motivation and it removes the uncertainty because you're training your expectation and your understanding and your subconscious to recognize these things quicker by doing it. Versus if you just watched price action and you know, leaned on somebody else to point things out to you, when you're back testing and you're studying and you're journaling, you want to really put some work into this. You really want to do, I mean, this this right here is better than most technical books. I have books that I spent $400 on, and they are not this annotated. They're, just, they're not that detailed. I took my 30 years experience and what I look for in price action, and I applied it to this. These types of charts or examples of fractals and price action this is what you you want to treat this like meditation and the more you put into this the better you're going to be as a technician and that technician will make you the better trader than you've ever imagined but you have to do this step folks you can't just skip over it there's no way you can learn how to do this without doing the back testing and journaling and studying it has to be done and if you don't want to do it then just simply expect that you're going to fail Okay, and, and that's the honest truth, and there's no sugar coating it here. I don't ever do that here. But if you're trying to do it half assed and trying to do it and you know, not really putting an effort into doing it right, you're not going to be successful, and you have nobody to blame but yourself.